Southwest Colorado large rural district. Yes. Tell me about your district, its political makeup, voter uh, party-wise, and why you're running as an independent. Okay. Yeah, House District 59 is it's a big district, a little bit over 6,000 square miles, um, centered around the San Juan Mountains. Uh, so you, unless you take four-wheel drive road, you can't drive through it. You have to drive around it. Mm -hmm. um, it's made up of, it's a gerrymandered district, so it's made up of uh, five whole counties and uh, a third of uh, the county that I live in. Uh, it has seven, eight distinct communities within it, um, each of them with their own strengths and weaknesses and issues. Um, and uh, it's uh, uh, one of the most beautiful parts of the state. It's, it's one of those places that... Uh, You're a little biased about that. Yeah. I have, I'm a lot biased. You gotta be. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful part of the state. It's dominated by this huge mountain range, large wilderness areas. So among this resources. huge mountain range, what's the, the voter demographic as far as party yeah. makeup goes? Because you're so, trying to break through something that you obviously disagree with, right? Yeah. So um, overall, the district is about 35% independent, 29% Democrat, 33% uh, Republican. Okay. Within each county, it breaks out a little bit differently. Um, uh, two counties, uh, Hinsdale County is over, I think it's almost 57%. Um, Republican Archuleta County is uh, somewhere in the, I think, in the 40s. Um, but for the most part, um, uh, independents are, are the, the okay. highest proportion in, in every county. Uh, you've been a lifelong independent, but what yeah. made you want to run? I mean, you have experience in a, an array of professions that are not at a state capital. No. Um, yeah, no, I was never involved in politics, never really interested in it. Um, but like I said, my, my mom was a lifelong Democrat. My dad was a lifelong Republican, and uh, they they discussed things and they listened to each other and they they argued. But it was they never fought. Come on, they oh, never they had fought. a good fight. Uh, they, they uh, fought. A, a but, political fight. But, but <laughs> when it came to politics, they they listened to each other and they they considered each other's point of view. There were a lot of things they didn't agree on, but mm. they would listen to each other, and that's what they taught my brother and me is to to look at problems from different angles. Um, and I've I've, I've been, like I said, independent my whole life, but as I've watched as, you know, in, in the past, I could find a moderate in somewhere in that party makeup. Yeah. And uh, now those are mythical beasts that no longer exist. You need a magnifying glass. And so, yeah, and, and 2016 for me, um, there just was no choice. Uh, and I, and I, I was so shocked that that's the point we'd gotten to, you know, in the country that penned the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, you know, Jefferson, Lincoln, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, um, you know, and, and the best that we could come up with uh, in 2016 were the most uh, unpopular Device, candidates yeah, the most, that we've ever yeah, had. Yeah, and and right. I thought to myself if, you know, and then I could look around in my, my own community and I could see people that could answer questions better or, or had a better idea. Right. And, and so I realized, no, it's not the best that America can come up with. This is the best that the two parties can come up with. It, These are the best candidates the two parties can come up with. Right. And what that means is that the vast majority of us are stuck somewhere in the middle um, feeling pretty lost alone. And that's when I started looking and I, I didn't realize until that point that, that the, there were more independents registered in the state of Colorado than in either, it, in either of the parties. I use that st statistic all the time in my news coverage because right. it is so powerful. People don't realize that. Right. And so that's where I I realized that, you know, if if we are the the majority, why don't we have a candidate? In the 144 year history of uh, the Colorado Legislature, there's never been an independent elected to office. We've had some people that have flipped in in, in while they're in office, but we've never had one elected. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was a question of if representative democracy still exists, then an independent should be able to run. So you felt like a civic duty. Yeah, to, and I was, to at a do point, this. Yeah, was at a point in my life uh, uh, where I was in transition. I knew I had a little bit of time, and I thought I'd give it a try. And so for me, it was a, for me, it was an experiment in democracy. Does democracy exist? And I, I went from a point of frustration and anger to a mm -hmm. point of hope because well, right. I made the ballot. And, you made the ballot? Mm -hmm. you, you said you'd give it a try. You're giving it a try. at two-way race, Democratic incumbent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that real quick. Yeah, uh, well... Ever since the, my district was gerrymandered, and it was gerrymandered to keep uh, uh, a former Democrat who had turned independent from running. No way. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it, was, it was drawn specifically to disenfranchise a very popular uh, candidate from, from being elected. Okay. And um, uh, 
So, we're, so now, you, but you've got a fighting chance I against and, a Democratic yeah, incumbent. Yes, uh, she won the last election by I think one and a half percent of the vote um, against the oh, yeah. uh, six hundred seventy-five. One, yeah, one and a half percent, hmm. 675 okay. votes. Um, there's no Republican in the race. Um, so it's between me and a Democrat, which I think is probably a fairly interesting race because I don't yeah. think we have any other races, certainly not in this state where, where it's a, a Democrat and a Republican. Um, getting a lot of support from places that uh, I, never, I never anticipated. I, I'm the first independent candidate to ever be endorsed by um, the Colorado Chamber of Commerce, also known as uh, the Colorado Association of Commerce and Industry. Um, they just endorsed me a couple of weeks ago, which is fantastic. Uh, they have a, a political action committee. They offered me money, which I, I, uh, I accepted their endorsement, but I turned down the money because I'm, I'm running this on small donations. Mm -hmm. I, I really want to see if we can make this a citizen-based race. And, and uh, so I got that. And then I was also the first uh, independent candidate that was invited to the Club 20 debates. And that's a large organization on the Western Slope um, that puts on the, really the only uh, region-wide debate. Um, and so... So you're getting uh, endorsed from good groups yeah, that, and, and that have the power to really, and the getting things. invited in. Yeah. You know, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a point of change. Thank you so much for yeah, joining me on this. Paul Jones, independent candidate from Colorado for House, Dis for House District 59. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day.